It's a first ever for the University of Hawaii. They're getting more than half a billion dollars in research funding. Yeah, Billy Bee's live at UH Manoa to explain why this is important for the school and the local economy. Billy. Thank you very much, Steve Grace. We're here on the University of Hawaii Manoa campus, and that is extramural funding. Uh, that's external investments from the federal government, nonprofit organizations, uh, and also uh, industry to help research and academic activities conducted by the, <coughs> by the university. So this morning we're talking to Jairus Edges. He's the dean of the UH Manoa John A. Burns School of Medicine. Good morning. Good morning, Billy. Good dean, to see you. Thank you very much, Dean. Dean, tell us how, first of all, how this benefits what you oversee and how how this benefits Hawaii as a whole. All right, thank you. Uh, the funding from the federal government is really key to helping us train our next generation of faculty and learners. Uh, we're focusing a lot of our efforts on health disparities and also looking at some factors related to the latest uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic that we're all experiencing. And these funds are helping us deliver health care and tailor it to the needs of people here in Hawaii. Hawaii is unique and, and a lot of this funding has become that has come because we are a multi-ethnic society, correct? That's absolutely true. Multi-ethnic and multicultural. We um, have uh, blended uh, gen genetic uh, backgrounds. We have uh, cultural practices that cross multiple historic uh, boundaries. And so we are doing things as a community that probably reflect where continental U.S. will be 20, 30 years from now. Uh, let's talk about right now in the pandemic. How does this also help in what, how, in what we're looking at as far as the pandemic is concerned? Well, one of the things that's really key is understanding the individual variability to the coronavirus and also the variability in terms of getting health care. Uh, we know that sometimes there are barriers that exist partly based on where we live, the type of work we do, and our cultural connections. So we're doing our best to understand how to remove the barriers so that we can get appropriate testing and treatment and monitoring uh, for those, but also understanding understanding better how we recover from the coronavirus once someone suffers that illness. Okay, so this benefits us not only with your hiring locally, local faculty, uh, local students, uh, but it also helps just as a whole as to us getting healthier, correct? Absolutely. Um, you know, obviously these funds help our local economy. That's, that's certainly key. But more importantly, uh, we're preparing uh, the, the, the community to address a number of health conditions that are just emerging, just developing. And so having this talent developed here in Hawaii for Hawaii is really important. Dean, thank you so much for your time. Good luck on your efforts. And we look forward to having our health benefited by this money that's come in. I appreciate that. Thank, thank you, you so much, Once Willie. again, Dean Hedges with us this morning. Coming up in about 30 minutes from now, we're going to talk to the UH uh, School of Ocean and Earth and Science and Technology about their funding and how it helps all of us. We'll have more for you from UH Mod NOAA in half an hour. Steve, Grace, back to you. Awesome.